Alrighty, what's going on everybody? Bro Mike, or also known as Valor Leaks here. Bringing you guys a brand new video, quickly showing off the brand new feature in Valor Stream Overlay with the Twitch bot integration. So, it's going to be a very simple tutorial because a lot of the features are already hard-coded into the bot. If you guys want to request a feature for the Twitch integration and Twitch bot, let me know in the comments below and I can see if I can add it to the next update. So essentially, you're going to first open your program so right here I have the 1.1 update you can if you already have the 1.0 update it will automatically download an update if you click the update button otherwise head over to github and download it so here it is what you're gonna do is just boot it up as always and I already have my uh, login information in here so it's already gonna be but typically if it's a fresh install you won't have anything so this is completely different or Actually, it's just a little bit different than 1.0. You'll be seeing Twitch bot settings here and about four boxes you can mess with. So let me go quickly through these. So essentially, when you click enable, it will enable the bot. The When you first initially run the program, it will try to start the bot. Um, and if you don't have any of these filled in, it will give you an error. So make sure you guys have these filled in. So essentially, the first thing you want to set is the Twitch channel name. This will be the channel that you want it to go to. For sure, for example, if I want the bot to go to my channel on Twitch, which you guys should follow, you want to go ahead and paste the name there. So that's gonna be the user. That's gonna be the channel the bot is gonna go in. So it the bot will go into this chat right here. Next will be the bot username. So here will be the bot's name and in the chat so typically you would make a brand new account for a bot and or you can run it on your main account this works either way um, you can run it on the same account that's the channel name or you can run it on a completely different one I just noticed my stream overlay is still on my stream uh, thingy let me actually turn that off alright so essentially the name of the bot that I'm going to be the account the account name of the bot I'm going to be using is called a mic bot that's the username of the bot and then the token so this is a very uh, unique part of this which might confuse a lot of people but it's very simple if you just follow the instructions so you're gonna head to the link that in the description that says twitch token generator and you'll make your way over to this site you're gonna see this you want to click on bot chat token and next it's gonna ask you to log into twitch so here basically you will just um, you know log into the account I'm gonna pause the video real quick so I can do this okay so once you type your password you click login next it'll then send the verification code if you have two-factor or I think this is actually default on all accounts now you want to go ahead and do this and once you type in your code you'll be redirected to this page next what you want to do is you want to allow or authorize and essentially you will then get a bunch of stuff so you're going to click, I'm not a robot, and you got to do the hardest part of this entire process. Which is very, very time consuming. Alright, and then you're going to click verify, and you're going to get it wrong. Um, but, and I'm going to probably get this one wrong again. Um, this is very difficult. Alright, there we go. So then you're going to see this. So... This is going to be blurred out because you're not supposed to share these. But what you want to do is you want to find the access token and you're going to right and you're not going to right click. You can right click and copy it, but you're just going to click the copy button. Then you're going to make your way over to the settings page and you're going to paste that code or that long text into that box and you're going to click apply. Before you go though, you want to make sure that the bot is enabled. You click apply and it's going to ask you to reboot. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go to my chat app that I use to moderate my chat here. And it, and it just has me logged in. So, oh, someone was trying to test it. Um, so, next thing you want to do is you want to boot up the program. And you will get a message in your chat telling you that the bot has connected. There you go. Valor Stream Overlay has connected. So, from here, you can do exclamation mark ELO, exclamation mark RP, exclamation mark Overlay. And these are all built into the bot. This is, doesn't tax performance at all. Um, it might increase percentage depending on what you're doing. 
but still this program is highly optimized and doesn't do anything on your PC so it barely runs anything in the first place. This doesn't inflict input lag, this doesn't mess with your frame rate, it doesn't do anything. So that's essentially it. Those are the commands you get built in with the bot nowadays. Um, hopefully if you guys have some good recommendations, I'll just add them in. But yeah, this works for everybody. Um, I suggest moderating or making the, uh, the bot a moderator so it doesn't get limited. Um, this is limited to 750 messages an hour um, just because of Twitch's API. So depending on your use case, it might limit itself, but it has a limit built in just in case. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys all for the support again, and I uh, hope you guys use this new feature.